Hi everyone, welcome again to our new session of the software testing. In this session, I will discuss about shift left testing. What, why, and how. So before continuing with actual content, let's understand the today's agenda. Then we'll move further. When we are talking about left shift testing, we'll discuss here the detail or the basic concept of shift left what's shift left why it is needed in real life the benefits then i will show you or give you the market analysis or research report is it left shift is always required or we can keep for some of the project and for the real life how to implement it in real life project so if you are new to this channel consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for further updates, let's begin with the basic concept. So, when we are talking about left shift setting, agile practices are being adopted almost universally. It's necessary that faster and earlier testing in the software development life cycle, that is SDLC, bringing development and testing together early, is commonly referred to as shifting left. By testing early, on in the process, we can fix defects before th they grow into bigger problems. This shifting left of testing within the development life cycle places the emphasis on quality from the start. And it can save a lot of efforts which troubles later. So definitely it will shorten down our test cycle proactively identify defects early in the development phase, then increase efficiency and production cost, then reduce defects in production, improve product quality, good boy, waterfall, hello, agile. So earlier we used to do these type of testing in traditional testing methods. A typical waterfall software development project would have seen testing occur immediately prior to release into production. This means that when bugs or usability issues were inevitably found, the release would be delayed until these were fixed. In this model, testing became a bottleneck that seriously indebted the ability of project to deliver on time. When we are talking about goodbye waterfall, hello agile, then modern businesses applying the waterfall model have difficulty surviving on the market. If they release a new version of their software only twice a year, they lose customer relevance to provide updates, new features, and bug fixes on a regular basis. Company needs to say goodbye to the waterfall model. Of course, we know that emerged from these issues, the agile model. Today, we found various methodology like Scrum or Kanban that follow the Agile principle. They all follow the same core values to achieve a more adaptable project life cycle. Agile methods enable teams to deliver valuable apps early and on a continuous basis. As a result, companies can publish new features more often instead of following a linear sequential approach. Agile follows circular iterative one. So, What's shift left? So as you can see here in the diagram, so traditional model is basically looks like that and it will start with the requirement, design, development, testing, and then finally support, which is the same process followed in the shift left as well. But when we are talking about the curve, it should first start, then it drags down. So let's understand in detail. So whenever we are talking about the phase one, two, then phase one is requirement analysis, two is feasibility study, third is design, development, testing, and the final deployment. So these are the steps we are following in every software development life cycle. The easiest way to explain shift left software testing is to think of the development cycle as the line running from left to right in the old model testing. So in this model, if you can see 
traditional model look, looks like this. Testing can only come into play on the far right of the line. Recognizing the bottleneck here, we know want to move the initiation of testing as far to the left as possible. So whenever we found any issue, it should be identified in development phase itself or in the earlier phases. It's not only related with the development, it is also there is a requirement issue also. Whatever is not possible, we cannot meet it at any point of time. Swift left is a practice intended to find and prevent defects early in the software delivery process. The idea is to improve quality by moving tasks to the left as early in the life cycle as possible. Swift left testing means testing earlier in the software development process. Then why shift left required? So first is increased cost. In the traditional software development model, requirements are kept on the left side of the plan and the delivery and testing requirement on the right side. So if you can see in this space, so requirement is in the first phase and testing is almost at the end. So if there is any issue occurs, in the development or in the requirement phase, it will be get identified only after fifth stage. Otherwise, if we'll track in between that, like in design or development phase, definitely it will reduce our cost. So it will definitely minimize our cost because of that, it says because of the increased cost, it is mandatory required to shift layer, shift the testing to the left, increase time to the market. So whenever there is a bunch of process, when we want to follow that bunch of process, it should be time consuming. So if we found the defect in the unit testing itself, that is a part of development, it will move or fix as soon as possible rather than going to the various team and then it comes again to the development team. Unexpected errors. So cost alone is a very strong incentive for shifting your testing to the left. Estimates indicates that over half of the all software defects could be identified during the requirement phases with less than 10% emerging during the development phase of the life cycle. The cost of resolving these defects work in reverse. So a defect that is removed after the product has gone into product will cost around 100 times more than one that is identified and re removed during the requirements phases. Instead of cramming all testing tasks into the last day before our apps release, our team start performing tests earlier in the development cycle. Finding and fixing defects as early as possible helps us to introduce higher quality and code right from the beginning and save time and resources. Additionally, our app's design improves as our team can detect and tackle possible performances, issues, and other bottlenecks sooner. In this way, we can ensure that only well-tested, highly functional apps are published and allow our team enough time to breathe. Put all the efforts in the development and queue team into the task and bring them closer together. So it's always recommended to enhance the quality as soon as possible in early phases rather than going at the end and um, assigning back to the previous task. Early defect identification is also possible by using shift left. So if you can see here, the research report in defects, uh, this report shows that in dollars, so if we have identified the defect in development phases, the cost would be a very less or in the least cost we can see here. But when we will find in the belt state or in the testing state, so then also the cost is not as that maximum, but definitely it will cost again more than 10 times or 12 times or 15 times. But if these defects are found in the deployment phases, definitely it will cost plus 292% higher than the, in the build cost, 
in the testing and deployment 791%. So these are the call which is cost which is going to increase towards the faces. So this defects report or the defect analysis is prepared by some of the experts who have did the analysis on several worldwide projects and based on their analysis report or research report from the uh, Poneman Institute, which is pre prepared in 2017. So basically this research report is prepared by Poneman Institute in 2017, found that if vulnerabilities or defects get detected in the early development process, they may cost around 80, dollar on an average but the same vulnerability may cost around 791% higher than the initial cost to fix if detected after they have moved into production. The shift left approach emphasizes the need for developers to concentrate on quality from their earliest stage of a software build rather than waiting for errors and bugs to be found late in the SDLC cycle Shifting left enables product teams perform daily tasks like testing, providing feedback, reviewing changes, and progress. So let's come to the point. Is shift left always appropriate or in some of the cases we definitely leverage this? So enhanced customer experience provides scope for the implementation of test automations. So before continuing with the, these points, Let's understand why, why it is needed. Shift led testing approach may not always be able to deliver optimal performance and function in a real world environment. In such situation, shift right testing strategy may help us to achieve our goal. Just like in enhanced customer experience, then ensure better test coverage like shift right initiates Testing from the right, that is push production in this shift right practices, will test a completely built and functioning application to ensure performance and usability rates. Reviews and feedbacks from the targeted user further help in enhancing the quality of the software. An important character of shift right approach is willingness to validate a hypothesis by trying out new solutions, collaborate with customer to determine what is working instead of working from assumptions. Continuous feedback from user may help in responding better to software failure. So let's have a look of their benefits of shift left testing. So from developers, tester and even customer, shift left testing benefits everyone. Here have some points I mentioned here. So first is easier fixes. So in shift left testing, defects are found earlier in the development process. This means bugs are easier to fix. Less rework is required, saving everyone time, money, and headaches. Second is time saving. Bugs are easier to definitely fix it and it will save our time. Better test coverage. This testing can also improve test coverage. Testing begins early in the process. It, it thoroughly checks each function of the software throughout the entire life cycle and this improved test coverage translate into a better product. Developer or tester collaboration. The shift left methodology encourages developer and tester collaboration. Difficult defects can be better avoided with the testing in mind from the start reducing friction between teams. Automation capabilities also available by applying the test early and often it should come as no surprise that the shift left process and automated testing often go hand to hand. Test automation boosts test coverage. It reduces human errors and it eliminates repetitive manual tasks. Quicker time to release. So smaller bugs, less rework, easier fixes. All of these elements allow development teams to accelerate the software release process and timely releases translates into profitability. But in order for teams to embrace the shift left process, several things must first happen to achieve this. The finally, how to implement shift left testing. 
deploying and testing side by side is the first part like whenever we will build any functionality test it immediately so it is a continuous process unless and until our product is ready or complete functionality is ready small piece of functionality is ready then it's better to test then continue to the next part sharing ownership of standard develop, develop deployment procedures so in order to introduce shift flat testing to our development process few practices are recommended what's needed to shift flat developing and testing side by side sharing ownership of standard development procedures like if we have any build feature by someone and that should be shared with other person because sometime it is happen that defects are not able to identify if we have built the functionality by our own automated test and run them early and often so automate whatever we have achieved or created and assign that activity or automation piece to the further part of testing team automated deployment of new builds is also help us to achieve our maximum coverage of testing and minimize the defect so that's all about shift left hope you liked it if you really enjoyed this video consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates thank you for watching